Kristen? Yes. Rob? Yes. We brought you here today to take a lie detector test. Okay. I knew this day was coming. <laughs> One of you will be hooked up to the machine while the other asks questions, and then you'll switch. Who wants to be in the hot seat first? I defer to the beautiful lady. I think left. he should be in the hot seat first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna be. I'm nervous looking at you. Are you gonna be a tough interrogator? I'll try. I'll try. I think the whole deal is you're you're supposed to mm -hmm. read it in the most like bloodless manner you can, I'll right? Do my to best. like, yeah. You don't want a false reading. I, w I don't want a false reading. Absolutely, you gotta read it like flat. Right? Really flat. <laughs> right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is your name Rob Lowe? Yes. Were you born in Charlottesville, Virginia? Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Yes. All right, let's get started. In the 80s, the New York Times reporter famously dubbed you as part of the Brat Pack. Would you say you were a brat in the 80s? Yes. It's been said that Emilio- I, I passed. We can stop right now. <laughs> I passed. You don't get to pass it. Right. I'm in charge. Right. It's been said that Emilio Estevez was the unofficial president of the Brat Pack. Did that ever bother you? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think that's an answer. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Are all the members of the Brat Pack in a group chat together? No. Are you worried there might be one without you? No. <laughs> You were the epitome of a teenage heartthrob when you were younger. Exhibit A. Do you ever worry that you peaked when you were a teenager? Yes. Does it offend you that you have never been named People's Sexiest Man Alive? Yes. Me too. Uh, finally. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You once said... What more does a person need to do? I don't know. I don't know, Rob. Let's continue. You once said that this woman rejected your kiss. Was that the worst rejection you ever faced? Yes, probably. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. It's not a good day. Not a house. good day. Not a good day. In the film... Look at her. I, I know. I mean... I know. Put her down. You want to do that? Down. Like, We're done. We're done with Jewel. Put her down. In the film... Oh, the I'm done with Jewel. Yes. Don't you worry about that. Okay, calm so down. So kidding. Calm We're down. good. Do you feel pressure as a man in Hollywood to look camera ready all the time? Nah. <laughs> nah. You are the father of two sons, Matthew and Johnny. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you're a cool dad? Yeah. Your sons attended Duke and Stanford. You must be really proud of them, right? What are you implying? Do you think that you could have gotten into those colleges? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me if I... No, I was somebody. not. I would never. All I had to do to get Matthew into Duke was to tell Coach K that Matthew was nine feet tall. Stop. And led the league. And, um, and it happened. Okay, do um, you feel like you could have gotten into those colleges? 100% no. <laughs> Good. 100% no. Good. Do you think that your sons are smarter than you? 100% yes. Yes, I agree. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Is it true that you're deaf in one ear? Yes. And have you ever used that as an excuse to ignore someone that you didn't want to talk to? Like every day. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see. How do you think I've been married for twenty-nine years? Ooh! Ow! That hurt. That hurt. Because I love. That hurt. I say because I love. Oh my gosh! Oh dear! We're in trouble now. Okay, this is a big one. Okay. Have you ever watched Sex in the City? An entire episode. Uh huh. Wow, this is pressure. Wow, you're already in trouble. I know. Why are you taking so long to it's answer? It's so mimosa-centric. Gosh! Okay, so for the limited amount of an episode of Sex and the City that you did watch. I saw a lot of shoes. There was a lot of Sarah's voice. Yeah. And, and a lot of mimosas. Okay, so I have another question. Let me get Did to I it. Did I miss anything? Yes, you missed a lot. Okay, okay? Right, right, a right, lot, right. a lot, I know. a lot. 
You could ask Cheryl what you miss. Okay. Okay. So, in the limited amount of Sex and the City that you did deign to watch, <laughs> did you have a favorite character? Yours. Oh. Uh, Charlotte. Are you lying? Right? You did know her name good. See? Good one, good one. But are you lying right now? No. Is he? That's questionable. I'm not. Is he lying? I know all those girls. Women. Uh, you were... Yeah, you were women then. Yeah, we you're were. Women. Trust me. I'm so out. Um, you've been known to do some good impressions. Can you do an impression of this co-star? Ooh. Wow, that's like the hardest. What do you, it's pretty hard. Uh, this is called being set up for failure. It's true. She's not easy. She's not She's easy. Not easy. First of all, I don't know if I've ever been able to pull off doing a, a female impression. Who do you want to do? So we're not going to do Amy Poehler. I cannot do an Amy Poehler. It's pretty for sure tough. I, I don't think I could either. There's, for sure, there's no way I can. I agree. See, he's being pretty, pretty honest. Yeah, yeah. If you were asked to do a reboot of Parks and Rec, would you say yes? 100%. Ah, that makes me happy. I loved you on that. Thank you. Do you think Anne and Chris are still together? Yes, of course. Really? Yes. No. I don't think so. Of course. She moved on a lot. She did. You would have had to really be like pleasing her. I th <laughs> frankly. Well, if Chris had a shortcoming, it might have been in that area. It might have been. It might have been. All but right. Did you lie at any point during the slide detector test? I never did. <laughs> He's not a liar. No, it's true. I'm a Rob truth is machine. not a liar. It's so true. I'm a truth it's so machine. True. It's true. Oh yes. Oh yes. I do feel uh, mind hunter esque. It is. It's very mind hunter. It is. It is. Kristen, are you ready? Yes, I'm right. ready. Is your name Kristen Davis? Yes. Were you born in Boulder, Colorado? Yes. Are you nervous? A little. Let's begin. <laughs> you played Charlotte on Sex and the City. Yes. Have you ever taken a BuzzFeed quiz to find out which Sex and the City character you are? No. Don't need to. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Would you say that I'm Samantha? No, I would say you're Carrie. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Number one on the call sheet. <laughs> yes, that too. That too. In the show, your character converts to Judaism. Mm -hmm. Would you ever convert for someone you loved? It's hard to say. I think if I fell in love hard enough, I might, but I don't really believe that much in organized religion, so I would have to... I would have to feel like it was incredibly important to that person to do so, like Charlotte felt with Harry. I think you'd do it. Um, <laughs> you've expressed your love for the hashtag woke Charlotte memes. It's true. Do you consider yourself woke? I consider myself um, always on the way to woke. I'm still trying to get there. I don't know who is the official person to say that you have attained woke status. I'm not sure that I'm there yet. So if you're not woke, would you consider yourself sleepy? No, I'm awakening. I'm a, I'm awakening. I'm a blooming flower. You're not slumbering. No. Well, this is an easy one. Would you say you're more, wo more woke than I am? Well, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, she's passing. <laughs> okay. That's not hard to be. No, it isn't. No. Um, if these two women reconcile their differences, would you agree to film another movie? The world awaits. Your yes. answer. Of course I would. Of course, of course, you. course I and would. And who wouldn't? Yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> you started in a movie with my brother. Yes. Chad Lowe. Yes, I did. Oh, look how adorable you are. Was he easier to work with than me? <laughs> that is such a hard question. Mm -hmm. And I'm really probably going to shock some people right now. Remember, you're wearing a lie detector. I know. The answer is no, he was not. So he had those bad wigs. He did, and they were a hard situation, and also it was oh, a different say. time in his life, if you know what I'm saying. He told me a great story about that movie. He played John Ven John Denver he in the did. John Denver story. He did. And he was worried about the wigs, and he the wigs was are all the time atrocious. Yes. And he went to the director, and the director said, oh, no, nobody cares about any of this. They just want to hear you sing the songs. It's true. That's just what an actor wants to hear. Exactly. You yeah, no, good. that that is what that, felt good about that experience was like. <laughs> yes. Oh, is Chad Lowe a better kisser than me? No. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. I'm I work so sorry. Have you ever 
Oh. Really bad. Have you ever called me a diva behind my back? No. Other things, but not that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm telling the truth, right? Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you watch my Comedy Central roast before deciding to work with me? I did not, because A, I already knew you, and B, I just think I kind of forgot it was on, though I would love to watch it now. It's fun. Yeah. It's definitely fun. I would think it would be fun to roast you, yes. I, and, and it's fun to be roasted. I'm was okay. it? Oh, good. Oh, well, if you had to roast me, mm -hmm. what would you say? Wow, gosh, Ooh, where to begin? I mean, I think I would talk about the salad. This uh, is, the that's secrets. short term, that's a term for my hair. Yes, all the all the salad fixins. A lot of fixins. A lot of fixins going on. It's gotta be fixins, properly man. tossed. Properly tossed, I mean, it goes on. America demands it, ooh, here we go. Uh-oh. Um, you played Joey's love interest I in did. an episode of Friends. I did. Is Sex in the City better than Friends? This is such an unfair question, but I'm oh, going to have to say yes, because I, I, I gave my life to one of those shows, and it wasn't Friends. I just guest starred on Friends, so I'm just going to have to say yes, because I just have to. I can't let my fans down. 100% agree. Really? Um, is Parks and Rec better than Sex and the City? You know, with that one, I feel like they're apples and oranges. I really like Parks and Rec. I probably saw every episode. I really, really like that show. But I feel like they're so, so different. I yeah. don't know how. I feel like with comedy, to compare them and say one's better and one's not, it's kind of tough. 100%. Yeah. Um, you played the role of Jenna the Toothbrush Girl I on did. Seinfeld. I did. I did. Have you ever put someone's toothbrush in the toilet to get back at them? No, I just don't think that would ever occur it's to me. It's not really in your nature, is it? No, it's I, really odd. Yeah, I don't even need the lie detector to tell me that. <laughs> you know me well. I do. You do. Um, who was more fun to work with than me? Was Jerry Seinfeld more fun than me? <laughs> is this Here man? He is. This is Jerry. This man. He was fun, but he really liked to scare me and make me nervous. Oh. So this was at the heyday of Seinfeld, and there were like 35 million people watching every episode. And so every time before rolling, he'd just whisper in my ear, 35 million people. And I would just be like, ah! And then, then, then we'd be rolling. That and I would have to act. Not to age you or me. I know. 35 right? million people watching an episode of television. A different world, right? The a most popular world. episode of television now, they're thrilled if it's 6 million. I know it. It's a different world. We lived through some times, babe. Wow. I know it. I know it. Is Jerry Seinfeld better looking than me? Mm, gosh, I have to think so hard. I'm just going to have to say no. Would you say Curb Your Enthusiasm is funnier than Seinfeld? No. No, I would not. I'm not... The biggest Curb fan. No? No, oh. I watch it, but I don't love it the way I love Seinfeld. Uh, Jerry's butt tight dad jeans were a real barrier of entry for me. Wow. Oh my God. It was the times, babe. You know? I guess. Yeah, it was the times. The clean Nikes. Ooh. ooh. The he starched, could wear anything like the he uber wanted. Uber starched. It's true. Red. I mean, he has a kind shirt. of an OCD quality about it. Literally, him. like. Right, but that's why it was funny that I threw the toothbrush in his toilet. That was why it was that's funny. Right. You know that's, what I mean? That's right. The yes. toothbrush girl. But Jessica puts up with them, so it's all working out. And she's genius. Yeah. Um, would you consider yourself an avid reader? Yeah. I've written two books. Have you read both of them? I've only read one. I'm really sorry. But it was excellent, and I tweeted about it, and I don't you know did. if you saw that. You did. Okay, good. You did. You're, you're off the hook. No. Is it true you love skydiving? Is it? I ha Yes. I would not skydive now that I have my children, which I think is your next uh, question, but I, I did skydive before I had any children, and I was thrilled. It was like a drug. I was like, let's go again. Would you let your kids skydive? Oh, that's a big question. I mean, they'd have to be a lot older, and it would have to be tandem. I think if they really wanted to, I probably couldn't stop them. You're, I'd be nervous. Would you? Uh, I don't want to do it, and I'm and I'm, really? not, and I'm not scared of much. It was pretty darn exciting. Rob. I know everybody loves it, and and I don't know why. I've, I I'm just trusting my gut on this one. Well, I think that's fair because I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. We don't want that. No. You're a huge philanthropist, which I yes. know to be true. Yes. Do you think other celebrities might partake in charity just to become, you know, favorable? Or as my kids would say, to get clout? I do think that that does happen, Clout yes. chasing celebrities? I do think that that happens, and I don't know that it's the worst thing in the world. There's worse things they could be doing. I agree, by right? the way. Right? I don't care what the motives are. Right. As long as it's doing something good, I don't and care. And if it what... calls attention to an issue or a problem, then I don't care. It. I'm it's with all you. all right. 
Do you think I should do more charity work? No, you do a ton. You work for the Wounded Warriors. I follow you. I know what you do. I you do. rescue dogs. You and Cheryl had that whole dog thing with like 30, 40 dogs once at your house getting groomed thing. and stuff. You've got a lot going on. I do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I know this isn't true. What? Is it true you get your best sleep on airplanes? <laughs> no, that actually is true. Is it true? You know what happened? Except for the flight that you and I took together to No, Africa. that's true. Well, I had a five-month-old, okay? Right. Right. So, you know, I was nervous that he was going to wake up everybody. That was my fear because we were in a very nice plane and, you know, um, there were a lot of people there. Um, I, when we would work on Sex and City, we would work all night Friday into Saturday morning. And if I had Monday off, I would fly home to L.A. to here. And so the second I would drive directly from our set at Silver Cup, to JFK and get on the plane and I would be out before we took off because that rumbling of getting mm -hmm. the plane ready, it like trained me. I think that, you know, the, ah, the, the air, yeah. I think there's something in the air. I think that it could be It knocks me out, honestly. Me too, see? This so, is an actor thing. I can't, we keep just my, I can't keep my eyes open. Yep. I really bonk. truly can't. I know, normally if I don't have a baby with me, I'm asleep. Um, do you do you think that people, when, when, you're, when you're sleeping on the planes, do you think people are watching you? Unfortunately, probably, but you know what? What are you going to do? Have you ever woken up to go on Twitter to see a picture of yourself sleeping <gasps> on the plane? No, have you? Yes, I have. <gasps> Did you look okay? My mouth was open. Drool? It looked like I'd had a stroke. <laughs> do you take pictures on planes with people? I do. You're, you're I've learned that it's bench. easier to say yes than say no. It's true. It is hard to say no. I don't, I don't love doing it all the time, but it's like it just, it's all good. It's true. It's hard to say no. Have you ever Googled yourself? Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Um, just just about five minutes ago. Have you ever Googled me? I don't think so. I, don't think I, I think there's things I wouldn't I'm, need to I, see. I'm only interested in myself. I assume you're the same. <laughs> um, no, I would Google people um, if I didn't know them before I worked right. with them or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, we've known you our whole lives, basically. I mean, right. you know, there's not a lot of secrets, I don't think. And if there were, I didn't, wouldn't want to find out. Have you ever used your giant fandom? around your character in Sex in the City to get a good table at a nice restaurant. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. In New York, though, they have, like, a, a seat permanently for any of you girls. Uh, pretty pretty much, pretty much. Right? Pretty much. I mean, uh, there's some sometimes some stress. They'll look a little scared, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, I've got to find a Can seat for them. Can you walk down the street of, uh, streets of New York and Milano? Definitely not. S no, definitely, definitely not. I have to move a lot quicker than that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be wearing high heels. No. You would need to be having an umbrella and, you, and, and you a hat. You cannot be carrying a what? Mimosa. Definitely not, but it's not the drink of the show. Oh, I beg to differ. No, um, darling, Cosmopolitan, Cosmopolitan. Oh, that's what it was? Yes. Uh, I haven't had a drink in 29 years. I know, I know, I haven't either, but I would never walk around carrying a drink. Yeah. Wait, wait, is it, wait, drink. wait, a mimosa is with It's like orange juice. juice. It's what like am for I thinking? brunch. I don't know. I You're a silly man. You're a very silly man. I let you get mimosas. away with it for, for a the while. Record, for the record, I don't think there were mimosas in <laughs> Sex and the City. <laughs> I think you do, it's but it's fine. Mimosa. You've already admitted you didn't watch an entire episode, so come on. We're in a Christmas movie together. Yes, we are. You plan on getting me a Christmas gift this year? You know, no, because number one, I think you could possibly be like the most difficult person to buy a gift for Why? in the world. Why? Because you have everything. I do not. You do. Tell you what I don't have. What? A stand-up paddle hydrofoil board. Okay. Just saying. Wow! Anyone out there has a hint, hint to whatever my wife he just said? And child, that's like hanging out, available hint, for you. I don't know what it is. All right. Sounds athletic. I don't know. It's a real thing. Do okay. You, okay. Now I need to know: Did you lie at any point during this lie detector test that no. we didn't catch you? No. And what's the final result? She is telling the truth. Yay! Congratulations! I'd expect nothing less. That was fun. <laughs>